the effect of noise-shaped dither on the performance of digital processors and monitor controllers by Alex Lukin and Bob Katz, based on research performed by Alex Lukin. Thanks to Ian Stewart for advice and testing. It's very common for mastering engineers to prepare 16-bit 44.1 kHz masters using noise-shaped dither. Media players, phones, and AV receivers often use DSP-based volume controls and other digital processing, including equalization, sometimes reverb, and sometimes compression. Not every DSP volume control or processor is optimally coded. Many of them perform their processing without using dither before feeding their DACs. This paper presents the novel idea and a proof that defective, for example, undithered 16-bit processors and monitor controllers will significantly benefit from masters produced with noise-shaped dither as opposed to standard flat TPDF. Let's start with a set of sine wave test tones from low to high frequency at a level of minus 80 dBFS in 32-bit float at 44.1 kHz sample rate. Here's a spectrogram of the tones. First, we'll prepare the tones with two different 16-bit dithers. At the top of this diagram, with 16-bit TPDF dither. At the bottom of the diagram, with 16-bit megabit plus ultra noise-shaped dither. Now let's apply a 1 dB gain change. Then we'll truncate it to 16-bit, which simulates an undithered 16-bit monitor controller. This is definitely a worst-case scenario. Okay, let's see what happens when we apply a 2 dB gain and then truncate to 16-bit. Notice that there are some subtle distortion artifacts from the TPDF, but not from the noise-shaped dither. Here's what happens with a 3 dB gain and then truncation. There's subtle noise modulation and distortion artifacts from the TPDF but not from the noise-shaped dither. With 4 dB gain and truncation, there's subtle noise modulation and distortion artifacts from the TPDF, but not from the noise-shaped dither. With minus 1 dB gain, in other words, attenuation, and then truncation, the situation is reversed. We see subtle noise modulation artifacts from the noise-shaped dither, but no obvious distortion. The TPDF is clear of any distortion or noise modulation. With minus 4 dB gain and truncation, we see distortion artifacts from the TPDF, but not from the noise-shaped dither. Next, we apply minus 10 dB gain and truncation. The result? Very obvious distortion and noise modulation artifacts from the TPDF, but not from the noise-shaped dither. With minus 17 dB gain and truncation, there's very obvious noise modulation and distortion artifacts from the TPDF, and there's some very subtle noise modulation from the noise-shaped dither, but no obvious distortion. The level of each tone is now a miraculous minus 97 dBFS from truncated 16-bit. In this case, we apply minus 22 dB gain and truncate. Signal is completely lost from the TPDF, but the noise shaped only has some noise modulation without distortion, and the signal is still visible even at minus 102 dBFS. At minus 27 dB gain and truncation, the signal is completely lost from the TPDF, and the noise shaped shows total garbage. The signal would have been minus 107 dBFS. Let's review what we've seen. 
We started with 16-bit dithered material. It was processed either with flat TPDF or noise-shaped dither. Then we changed its gain and purposely truncated it back to 16-bit, which of course is a bad thing. For the most part, the material, which had been strongly noise-shaped, survived the defective process with significant resolution, down to about minus 102 dBFS. Gentler shaping reduces the resolution of the truncated result. So a 16-bit flat TPDF dithered source results in serious distortion, noise modulation, and truncation. Is this some kind of trick? How does this trick work? The answer? Strong, random, high-frequency noise in the original noise-shaped material can self-dither, even through attenuation and 16-bit truncation. The resultant resolution rivals that of a dithered 16-bit process. In conclusion, 16-bit noise-shaped sources are perfectly acceptable for any monitor controller or processor. Noise shaping can even be beneficial to subsequent processes. Of course, decent processors should not truncate. So, output to DAC at 24-bit fixed point with dither, which can be flat TPDF. Thanks for watching.